The challenge is formidable. To get electricity from the ocean. A research team is tackling this challenge with the MINIWEC, a small wave energy converter designed to harness the energy in ocean waves. The waves that we're measuring are down here. On the MINIWEC team, APLUW's Jim Thompson. The overall system has two parts. It has a surface float about two meters in diameter, and then it has a heave plate below it. The heave plate captures the water and resists motion, and the float's on top and it goes up and down with the waves. And it's the relative motion between the two, that's where the energy capture happens. The relative motion between the float and the plate creates tension on a line that is able to translate a generator. And the generator consists of a bunch of coils that are being moved across a bar of permanent magnets. That induces a current and creates electricity. So it's the force, the force from the motion of the two bodies that pulls the generator. Basic concepts made more complex by a fluid environment. A key part of being able to uh, harness energy from these waves and be able to control or optimize what the buoy is doing is understanding what the buoy is doing in the water. We need to know all the details of the fluid mechanics of that. Those details are the specialty of Curtis Roosh. My graduate research focuses on wave energy converters, uh, their dynamics, and specifically has spent a lot of time focused on the hydrodynamics and scaling of heave plates. There's a big balance to strike with the heave plate in that uh, it's really what you're tugging against to get any power out of it. The trick is you want to make a heave plate that will give you the best, the biggest reaction force, but at the same time you have to think about for systems that have a, a rope connecting the float to the heave plate, uh, you have to make sure that that rope isn't going slack and then giving your system really big loads when all that tension is taken up just at once. Naturally, just based on the hydrodynamics of the two bodies, it, the system has some level of springiness and some resistance to motion. With the control system, you can change those parameters actively, so you're able to adjust how springy it is and how much energy you're taking off. It's set up so that it runs autonomously, so we give it the control parameters that we'd like to apply, and then we just let it run, and it makes decisions based on feedback from its various sensors. So we're measuring velocity, voltage, current, how the float is moving itself, and all those, all those pieces of information can be used to tune the system to get more energy out. The APLUW MINIWEC team is working in collaboration with private companies developing similar wave energy converters. We're working with CalWave to look at various heave plate shapes. They're interested in just developing a better understanding of heave plates and their hydrodynamics uh, in the interest of making a heave plate suitable to their wave energy converter. And we're working with Oscilla Power, based out of Seattle, to try to develop a better understanding of how well a model will work when you then apply it to a real-world situation. So far, Minuex's real world is the small waves of Lake Washington and Puget Sound. So we spent the, the winter waiting and watching the weather forecast and then going out when a storm came through and you know, being able to test in, in those conditions. And that's been really successful. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.